If you like this video and channel, click on the like button and subscribe button. Also, if you want to have notification when new video released, click on the notified button. Welcome in video where you can see what is user defined type and how you can use it in your project. UDT type you can create in PLC data types folder of your project tree. Okay, you click on the folder and here when you click on the add new data type, you can create your own data type. For example, we create in this project data type with name HMI Valve Info. Using user definite type is very good when you want to use UDT when you have to repeat the same data again and again in your function blocks. For example, we have function blocks valve and this one UDT data type we use as a repeat information for HMI about, about the valve, about this valve, this valve. And for example, if you create some another block, function block for the little bit different valve, but you still use the same information for HMI, then you can create the UDT data type. Okay, we have created the HMI valve info UDT, UDT data type. And for example, in this user defined type, we use, for example, variable valve is open for the HMI information next valve close then valve error and for exa for example valve pressure as real data type <coughs> okay we save the changes and now this is how we create the plc data type <coughs> and now we can use this data type for example in in valve function block we open the block and we go for example to the static variables of the data block and here for example we create variable hmi informations and the data type of this variable will be hmi valve info data type Okay, here you can see it, click on it, and how you can see, we now have something like structure, but this is only the structure of user definite type, which we create in HMI Valve Info. Okay, now we can update the box. And also, for example, we create some new data block, uh, some new, sorry, some new function block. Valve free, for example. Okay. And also here we can use HMI info of the data type UDT. And the name of our UDT data type is HMI Valve Info. HMI Valve Info. And here we also can use this data type. Okay, how you can see is very helpful when you want to have same information and you use this information again and again in your function blocks. Okay, this is all for this video, how to work and how to create and use data types, user-defined data types in your project. Thank you for watching and goodbye.